Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage, home of DIY, mostly geared to automotive, but here at Mix, you never know what you're gonna get. And today, we are going to do a review of signal quality of three different radios. This is actually a viewer requested video. So uh, you can see I'm not in my porch, I'm on my porch. And the reason for that is I can usually hit uh, some long distance repeaters from uh, up on the window. So I thought I'd come out on the roof here, make sure we do get uh, contact. We're gonna try to get a hold of somebody, see if they'll uh, wanna tell us the signal quality of these three different radios we got here. So let me turn the radio around, just show you the three radios, and let's see if we can contact some people. All right, if you think this is a little sketchy, I do too. Do anything to get some views, won't we here? So what radios do we have? We've got the Baofeng UV5R, the original. We've got the Baofeng UV5RM Plus. It's got a shorter antenna, so I'm gonna switch that out to the Nagoya uh, right when we do the test. And then we've got the TID Radio TDH3. So I believe this one's five watts, this one's eight watts, and this one, uh, I can't remember if it's five or eight. I'll have to look that up and put it on the screen here. So I remember we did some testing and each of these were slightly under the rated watts. First thing I'm gonna try to do is hit a repeater on the Rensen, which is 37 miles away. If that doesn't work, maybe I'll try the Durand. Then we'll work the top of Troy and just keep working down closer till uh, we get a hold of somebody. So uh, let me get the phone turned around here and uh, we'll try to hit the Rensen, see if we can get someone to come back and tell us signal quality from each of these three radios. All right, so you can see we got the three radios here. The uh, UV5R, it says it's eight watt here. The UV5RM Plus, and then the TID radio. So I'm gonna try first the, uh, the original Baofeng here, see if I can hit the Rensen, which is 36 miles away. And we'll see if it comes back here, see if you can hear me talking here. Um, even if no one comes back, but I'm gonna see if I can get someone to come back. So let me move off to the side with this. KE8UWY doing a video review on YouTube for the radio. 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 The time is 1007 AM. Good morning on two meter and four forty. Welcome to the GMARC Link Repeater System WW8GM. So give that a minute. You could see you could hear me. It's a little scratchy, but you could hear me coming through these two. See if anybody comes back. If not, I will do the same thing with these other two and see if you can compare the signals. So I think right now, if no one's coming back, I'm gonna switch these antennas. You can see uh, this this one's got a shorter one. So let me... So it sounds like someone came back. I'm not sure if uh, that wasn't that clear. Let me try to hit them. K-E-A-U-W-I. Uh, Welcome back for that signal report again. I wonder if I need to stand the antennas up. So I'm going to keep it the same and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out these antennas. And see what happens here. So that really should be the only difference is the type of antenna and you can see it's the 771. It's not a true Nagoya. All right. So we did the original Baofeng. And now let's try the, you can see I've got the Rensen here. I've got the main right there. 
So this is going to be the 5RM plus. And let's see if you can hear anything come through these guys. K-E-8-U-W-Y. Testing uh, three ham radios, handheld radios on uh, a YouTube channel looking for a signal report. So what's funny is that did not pick up me talking on here. So it's almost like this guy did not hit that repeater properly. So let's try the TID radio now and see if it comes back on here. So before we do, you can see I've got the rents in here. I'll use the lower push to talk and it should uh, come up here. So the audio quality is low. The audio quality is low, but I am making a repeater. So it's uh, testing a Baofeng and two different Baofengs, the original UV5R and a 5RM Plus, and also a TID Radio uh, TDH3. I'm almost telling you, the original Baofeng was the best one to get signal to come back. The TID radio, I could hear him come in here, but this uh, UV5R, even with the bigger antenna, let me try that again. All right, let's try it again. K-E-8-U-W-Y, can you uh, hear the signal here with the UV-5RM plus? My talking didn't come back on that. So let's switch back. I'm going to try one more time. So thanks for the report. Uh, I'm testing three handhelds here under five watts, 36 miles. So uh, it looks like this UV5R uh, original one's got the best signal here at the end. I can hear it coming through the other two radios on the table here. So it's, I think out of the three radios, the original Baofeng UV5R, it's got the uh, best signal into you. The uh, TID Radio TDH3 was a little scratchy and also the 5RM Plus. I'm surprised. Hey, even there, you're breaking up a bit. Got most of what you said. But uh, 36 miles, Five watts, and I'm assuming a rubber duck antenna or some sort of small antenna. Um, that's uh, probably the reason. Uh, if you look at that, just some sort of decent uh, mobile type antenna and get it up, you'll probably do fine. That, that's, that's correct. correct. And, uh, 36 miles, it's just a little rubber duck antenna on the Gloria 771. So uh, I'm impressed that I'm getting out 36 miles.
Thanks for the uh, the signal report. Oh uh, yeah, so where this repeater is. This repeater's on top of the rent set. I live out in Shelby near 25 Mile Road, and I can see the <laughs> on top of that. Uh, it's Yeah, you're definitely further than I am. Um, I know it's up it's up 800 feet off of grade there. I'm uh, near Holly in top of the hill about 1,000 feet, so uh, uh, I got to get mine straight line of sight. Oh, very good. Side out here, I'm ducking into a McDonald's to grab uh, some breakfast if I can, and then I've got to head down to Dakota High School to uh, do a little work on some of their equipment. So uh, I'll catch you another time. I didn't catch the call. I'll listen on the way out. My catch you another time. KE8UWI, name's Mike. Thanks for your report again. 73s. So there you have it guys, the original UV5R I think did better than the 5RM Plus and also the TID Radio TDH3. They all hit the repeater 36 miles away, he could understand, um, give me one second, so the, um, they all hit. The guy could hear them all. They're all a little scratchy, but I think the UV5R, the original, was the best. So if you like the content of the channel, please uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe.